Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo, where we are here at Mount Amberglass, so where we are slowly but surely repopulating the world's extinct species with several lovely dinosaurs. And I would like to brag about how well they're doing and how we've already dug up so many, and you know, go ahead and proclaim the glory of the fact that our CRISPR is already working on crossbreeding a few dinos. Uh, but I'm a little embarrassed right now because there's kind of like a ton of trash everywhere <laughs> and I cannot even hire myself a freaking janitor yet oh 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 I I needed to put a recruitment out for them I am so embarrassed right now you guys don't understand people want to work at my other zoo so I just took it for granted that I was supposed to be able to quick hire and I forgot quick hiring is something that you develop over time as a new skill and ability once you have proven your zoo uh yeah I'm sure we're gonna be able to make this place a lot nicer very soon so let's go ahead and clean up all of the trash and even put down a few signs why not go ahead and lean in a little bit to the immersive role play and if you're not here for the role play, I don't know why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. And we'll take this as a sign that we need to teach people to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Uh, and also, let's see. No, if you have terrible... Oh, we have a new dinosaur! If you have terrible work ethic, don't apply. I don't think I can handle people who are, like, not going to be at least mildly safe with their fingers and toes while they work here. Wendell, you have the best work ethic out of... Okay, Wendell, you're hired, because, like, literally nobody else. You're not very polite, though. Aw, oh, man. Is there a more polite guy? No? All right, Wendell, you're hired. We'll do our best to train you. We're going to close the position. Thank freaking goodness. Uh, now, let's go ahead, and we have a new dinosaur we need to prepare for, guys. Very exciting. I have no idea what it's going to fit, so I'm going to give it a little grassland enclosure that will just kind of, like cross our fingers and hope uh it kind of suits it should i do it like right over here so people can kind of yeah we'll go ahead we'll just go right up along the edges i think with this grassland enclosure and maybe i'll leave some room to put a bunch of grass at the back as a nice decoration um and we're getting so many dinos so fast i might want to be a little careful with how big to make some of our enclosures just for now and then we'll pop this one right over here. Ta-da! Neat and tidy so people don't come wandering up this way. They can use the subway. We're gonna go ahead and have our newest discovered dino, the Amosaurus, who is going to come and join us now that we have gone ahead and we have cloned them up. We're gonna put them right in here. Apparently that's a death habitat for them. Oh dear. Oh well. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> And then they do not look undernourished. I have got the diet go totally good for all of our animals now, by the way. I went ahead and I adjusted everything so that all of our little ones, including the micro raptors, should have a mwah, beautiful nutrition. I mean, I eat a salad a day and I'm pretty sure these guys have better nutrition than I do, like nutritional balance. Uh, meanwhile, CRISPR is still crispin. And let's see if we can get that janitor hired. Because there's only one applicant, and I'm a little desperate. And Linny, oh, beautiful work ethic. You're hired! All right. I think we might need to hire another janitor already because things are so busy. And let's also look into hiring another animal keeper. So we're going to go ahead and recruit on the job portal for another animal keeper to help us take good care of the animals. And I think we're going to be, like, expanding our facilities really quickly. <laughs> So I am going to actually hire another janitor. There we go. And then that should be good. Okay, good. We're getting new applicants. We should have people using the subway. I should definitely start maybe assigning my keepers to different enclosures. But I'm going to wait until I have enough of them. All right. Is this... Is Carson, are you good? Carson, you have literally no work ethic. I just don't have the ability... Uh, I just feel like somebody with no work ethic is going to be like trying to take a nap in the dinosaur enclosures. Maybe I, maybe I was just raised and, uh, okay, look, I'm a workaholic, okay? I'm gonna admit what my problem is. I'm a workaholic and I just don't know if I would be able to work with somebody who's just like, I'm just gonna catnap with the T-Rex and I'm a trash, like, 
I would not be able to sit still and relax if I saw that kind of like trash in a place that I was supposed to be helping take care of. I can't even do that like in my apartment complex. We literally have people whose job it is to help keep the apartment complex clean. Like Chips and I are, are like acquainted with them. I call one Ray because his name is Ray and then I call the other one Little Ray because I don't know his name. I think it's like Roy. So I got it mixed up and I thought they were both named Ray. So we have Ray and Little Ray. Their job is literally to clean our apartment complex for us. But every morning when I'm on my walks, like I go out and I pick up the trash that like falls out of people's car. Cause it's just, that's what you do. You take care of your home. <laughs> And this is the dinosaur's home. These are as in the parlance of zoos. These th th they are our residents, our dinosaur residents. And so help me, if you are not going to come in and you are not going to help clean, then I don't want you working here. There's my rant. There's you got the full on Siri rant because I don't like litter. All right. Now that that's done and we have added in quite a few lovely new plants. What on earth is this? This is my shocked silence, that's what this is. Because in a world where we legitimately have people who pay obscene amounts of money for coffee made from the poor civet pooping out coffee beans, very unethical and horrible practice, why did it not occur to me that of course we would have people who would want to drink wine from grapes crushed by dinosaurs? Oh. What did the, the crushed grape say? Nothing. It just let out a little wine. Oh no, he's got me with a pun joke. I am a craft winemaker. We have been trampling our grapes with our feet for centuries, but I would love if to have our grapes squashed by something bigger. Imagine wine made by dinosaurs. You can't get a better vintage than that. Sure, I actually think that's hilarious. If somebody wants to drink wine, or pardon me, if someone wants to have some like grape juice from our place that's been crushed by dinosaurs, I am not going to get in their way. Like, go for it. Go for it, dude. Why not? All right. So now that we've got a whole bunch of micro raptors, they do not look bored. Can I do anything about them looking bored? <gasps> my prehistoric plants! Oh my gosh, I want to get those so bad. I think getting the recycling center is probably the more like ethical thing to do. And then also I need some more buses and oh wow, there's like piles of clay. Ugh, it's a big responsibility to run this place. I'm getting the plants. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, we'll get the plants and then we'll be good for the animals. We will get the uh, salt block. Uh, oh, we can have another researcher. Give me that point. Quick, quick, quick. We definitely need to have two researchers because we're being hampered by not having enough scientists. Also, I could have sworn I hired a janitor. Probably need more than one. All right, bad work ethic, bad work ethic. You don't need to be polite. You just need to be able to like... Pick the trash up when you see it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I am so attached to this Like this is my problem in life today. Oh, that's why I don't have a recycling bin <sighs> The depth of that sigh is the sigh of personal Disappointment in myself is the sigh of Siri being like all ranty and yet here I am, egg on my face. Am I setting the right example? Am I putting down the recycling bins all over the place for people to be able to access? No, no I'm not. <gasps> but I have a giant ginkgo biola and that makes everything okay. Oh my word. <laughs> I am making a small botanical garden. Oh my gosh, why have I never thought to do that before? I am totally making a small botanical garden. We'll have it be a little bit of a muddy trail. You can come through and you can you can walk down past here. Uh, here, we'll do this like so. It'll just be like a little muddy loop. And while you're on the little muddy loop, uh, maybe I'll put like a bone bench over here so you can sit down and you can admire my ginkgo biola. Thank you very freaking much. This is such an interesting way to 
bioba to to make the plant because in real life we still have ginkgo biola trees and they look nothing like this cute little art sick like artistic render of it um however i love them they remind me so much of like the journey to the microcosmos stuff if you really enjoy by the way like journey to the microcosmos and uh different focuses on on the small worlds that happen to live right under our own eyes like hidden away in pond water not only is the journey to the microcosmos channel like one of my absolute favorites of all time oh this is so pretty oh my gosh but i'm hoping to one day get one of their microscopes so that we could actually do some of the like the science looking at pond water and other stuff under a microscope on our live streams it's one of my dream goals that i have i don't know how we will get the funds to do it but i will who knows maybe we'll do a whole bunch of fun live streams one day it'll be awesome all right so let's put this here and then i actually wanted to put down some signs because my idea is that in my little botanical garden there's like some signs right here where you can come and you can read a little bit more about the plants in a couple places. But I think instead of that second sign, I'm gonna put a lamp behind the benches. I legitimately don't know why it has never occurred to me to make a cute little botanical garden before. It just hasn't, it should have. All right, let's put this sign. You know what, I'm gonna move this. And then I'm going to try to add in more signs, really kind of get things moving that way. What is with people making such a mess? They should be able to like reduce, reuse, recycle. The facilities are available to you, friends. Use them. All right, I'll put this one, I guess, right there for now. Probably going to move that when we expand, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, I love the little botanical garden we did. Oh, you guys are here! Oh my goodness! Hang in there, hang in there, friends! Oh, they did want the grassland! Good! Their happiness is really bad, though, because we need to make sure that they have access to enough food and water to survive. My bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Would you guys like a little salt lick, too? We'll do a salt lick. We'll put down some scent markers. I'll add in a couple bits and pieces for them to play with. Uh, we'll get a little teeny lake. How's that? Little teeny little lake spot where they can come in, enjoy life. Oh dear. All right, there we go. Uh, we'll put down some reeds. The water features just add so much. It's so lovely. And we'll do some small rocks. We'll make this one look a little bit more like a river, I think. And then we'll do that. Oh, that's really nice. Good on us. So how are you guys doing now? Hello, little Amasaurus. Amasaurus sand lizard are small dinosaurs with uh, at, at only six to 13 feet long. What? <laughs> okay, if they're sand dinosaurs, I kind of want to build a little beach that people can play with near them. Ideal living conditions of marsh. Wait, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. They are supposed to be in a marsh. Can I change it? Oh, words. Oh, dear. Oh, me. All right. Uh, so this is going to be a little awkward. Edit enclosure. You can change the shape of the enclosure. I just made it so freaking nice. I need to go back over and check on our other dinos. I probably did the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I thought I, I was so proud of myself. I was like, look at you, Siri. You just guessed that it was the grassland animal. Good job. No. No, these guys go in a marsh and they're miserable. Oh my gosh. All right, let's scooch them over. Wait, did I move them? Hello, my dear. I'm gonna scooch you over here. Then we need to go ahead. <sighs> Destroy the entire enclosure and everything placed inside, as sad as it is. Uh, and then I'm going to make this enclosure a teeny bit bigger. Because, like, small dinosaurs at freaking 6 to 13 feet? I don't think so. We're going to make sure they have plenty of room to be nice and comfy. Scooch them down here and then give them their water so that we don't have them die of dehydration. And I think it is indeed time to consider hiring some more keepers. 
Oh, and they're gonna enjoy a little marsh. Oh, you guys. That'd be delightful. We'll give them a lot of little balls to play with. And I cannot wait to be able to give them some better, like, toys and everything else. Can I upgrade something essential? <gasps> the volcanic tree pack feels essential. That would look so good in a marsh. Oh my gosh. So with the clay! Okay, we're gonna unlock the clay just in case there's something super important over here. Jungle enclosure, lamp post, and that researcher. All right, we're gonna unlock the researcher. Animal shelter caves, dino grill, jungle enclosure. All right. Oh, we need to hire a new researcher then! Okay, we're, we're really starting to like get onto things, guys. I'm pretty content about this. What I'm not content about is that I really need to make these poor guys. All right, here, here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I, I gave you the wrong enclosure. Something just didn't fit right. And I was like, wow, sand lizard. Well, I wonder what a sand lizard's doing in a, a grasslands. Well, they're not. <laughs> At least we fixed it. And that's really one of the most important like things to remember is like, it's not about getting it perfect. It's just about making sure that they're content enough all right, let's change their diet. So these guys actually eat leaves, tree bark. Usually they need like a lot of it. Oh, look at that. Okay, leaves, tree bark, and greens. And then we'll reduce the veggie mix. There we go. And then no more food. Don't worry, I'm going. We'll spend a ton of our money. I really am giving them the best of the best, like right out of the gate probably need to increase our ticket price just saying we're gonna yank this thing up to 40 now because we've got food we've got water we've got entertainment we've got a beautiful pond we've got a lot of recycling bins that for some reason people just are not using <laughs> i'm sure everything's gonna be fine actually everything is kind of going fine there is something to be said for having experience and we have a lot of experience in being able to take care of our dinos. I'm really proud about that. All right, not bad, friends. How are my new trees? I really want to see my new volcano trees. Did I get those or was it? No, I got the clay rocks, yes. Oh, these look so cool. I'm totally editing these guys' enclosure. I'm giving them a much bigger place because these clay rocks are so neat. They're so cool. We're gonna make sure that they have plenty of room to have a big giant spot. There we go. There you go, you guys. Now I'm gonna add in some of those big old rocks. And I'm sure you're gonna love them. Whoops. All right. And then let's make sure we hire a new keeper before the end of the day, or else I'm never going to hire a new keeper. Oh, look at that big giant clay rock. And the tall clay rocks. Oh, that's so cool. And then just like a bunch of little clay rocks. That makes the, the whole area look so neat. I love it. It gives it very much a vibe that says like, yes, behold, this place is indeed a wild wetlands. Oh, we just unlocked the achievement decorator. Nice. And then I kind of love just a few dinosaur bones here and there. Just because. Maybe it's a little morbid for the dinos, but I think it looks really neat. All right, that adds decoration. The Ginkgo Biola are ready to like decorate all over the place and the little corkscrews. Oh, that's so cool. It looks, it, it, I mean, it looks so otherworldly. Like it belongs to, to a different planet. But what's really so fun to remember is like these are based off of stuff that, you know, we was on our planet. We, when you really look over the full arc of like how old our planet is and what has been on it, we have lost more life than is currently alive. And that just always humbles me because it really makes me just feel absolutely completely boggled at, at kind of just like the world, at life. It, it really does. It, Chips and I have a lot of conversations about that when we're at museums. All right, because it makes you realize we have such a narrow view of history as a whole on what it means for Earth to be Earth. And if we pull back and we really kind of slow down and admit like, wait a second. Okay, decorative floors such as this one make your visitors walk slightly slower. Hmm, 
but dried grass lets them walk faster on it. But when you really kind of slow down and you reflect on like, oh wow, yeah. Um, Earth as we know it hasn't always been Earth as we know it. That's just our narrow view of what we expect, like the Great Plains to look like, of what we expect Antarctica to look like. Once upon a time, Antarctica was covered in ginkgo biola. It was covered in so many rich jungles. Ugh, I just, I love that kind of stuff. It's so exciting. Oh, and this guy, I love his little plant hat. It's just the best. But all right, guys, so now we really seem, oh wow, the micro raptors, did you guys have babies? Can I release some of you for like good, good morality? Is that like a thing that can happen? Ooh. Ooh, actually, I think that is a thing that can actually happen. Oh, we're gonna have to look into that next time too. I mean, is that good morality though? Releasing animals that have already become extinct to the point where like the era of time that they existed in was millions of years ago. I think that would be count as like environmental disruption. Hmm, that's a thinker, all right, that's a thinker. But all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our little dinos. Soon, don't despair, we will be returning to our giraffes once more. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.